was told, good luck and don't expect anything else from us. That was the gist of the message anyway from city leaders today. But now there's a new time frame in the mix. WLWT News Flash John London is live for us at the banks tonight with what this all means. John. Yeah, it's a 10-day extension, Cherie. The attorney for the Soul Food Restaurant behind me here is moving this Thursday's deadline to a week from this Thursday. No lawsuit till then. He needs that time to try to move the needle. Mahogany's attorney went hunting this morning, searching for a sponsor, someone who would take the bailout ball and run with it. It won't be Kevin Flynn. The city's not the bad actor here. He calls the Thursday deadline a proverbial gun to the head. That's not the way to make friends and influence people. But this afternoon, as the city's million dollar Mahogany's investment stands silent, the lawsuit deadline has now been pushed back to September 25th. It's attorney shopping a new landlord letter around the halls of government. I would say state of flux, meaning not only information has gotten to all the parties that need to know it, and in fact, some parties are going on record without all the information, which is never a good idea. Restaurant owner Liz Rogers wants forgiveness, meaning the loan amount. In a brief written statement today, the spokesman for new city manager Harry Black reiterated the matters between Rogers and her landlord. Quote, due to the potential for litigation, we have nothing further to add. We wish Ms. Rogers all the best in her future endeavors. End quote. So it's, it's not normal practice to come through city council and just have a 100% city loan. Correct. Okay. Lawmakers looked at all city loan practices and processes today, making it clear that making exceptions is a slippery slope. Why didn't that deal go through the normal vetting process that we have in place? And if the answer is that it wouldn't have made it through the vetting process, then my eyebrow is up. Exactly who has final dibs on the bar, the tables, the remnants of the restaurant is a key matter, especially if another tenant wants to move in and open. And despite the city's statement to media today, the attorney for Mahogany's emphasizes he has received no final answer about loan forgiveness from the city. Robert Croskery wants to meet with Mayor Cranley and City Manager Black, ASAP. Live at the banks, John London, WWT. News 5. So Mahogany's has alluded to a possible lawsuit if its debt is not forgiven. Its attorney telling us just this afternoon no movement will happen, though, until the 25th.